Hello everyone, this is Nitya and today we are going to discuss the summary of this novel Cry the Peacock and uh, Cry the Peacock was, was written by Anita Desai and in 1963 uh, it was her first novel so as you can see the background uh, it is it is quite symbolic and uh, uh, there is a girl here there, there is a girl here and he is, she is facing towards the sun and if you have read if you have read the novel or if you have gone through it partially then you would recall the fact that this novel this complete novel is surrounded around a character named maya she is the chief protagonist of the novel so we can assume for a while that this is maya and uh, before beginning just a disclaimer if you have already read all the no notes of ma'am or the all the class notes or if you have gone through the book completely then this video would serve no purpose to you it is basically just a basic summary of the complete novel and uh, so it would be waste of time if you have already read everything and you go through this just a disclaimer and it's your choice though i will continue uh, just a quote before we begin this series uh, it is very much related to the content which we are going to discuss hereafter so i will read it we are born with the craving for the connection every day we wake up and we try to convince ourselves that we are not not alone actually we are biologically wired to get attached to what's soothing even if that soothing thing proves harmful to us so uh, it is it is inbuilt in the human system that we want to get connected to people we want to get attached to people and that's where the kick lies or that that is the that is the reason for social media instagram facebook or or twitter or whatsapp being successful so successful because we need validation from people we need connection from people we want to talk to people we want to get attached to people we want to get emotionally attached to people and sometimes we do it in a positive manner or we, sometimes we get into activities which we regret by getting attached to some people and okay so this is the quote and same is the case with maya and she had some other imaginations of attachment while gautam had gautama her husband had something different so it didn't work out so compatibility factor what are we going to discuss in the, this whole video that is this is the content first we are going to know about maya she is the chief protagonist and about her father and her husband her husband name is gautama and next we would move on to her fear and the reasons behind it it means fear means what were her fears and what were the reasons behind her fear how did it originate basically then we would move on to her illusions Ki, due to the fear what all illusions uh, she faced or she came across and at last we would know how it all ends Ki, what is the conclusion of all the drama or all the plot which we are viewing for all these times next so maya uh, I have I have summarized it in points. Maya is very sensitive girl, a very sensitive woman. I I should say, haunted by a childhood prophecy. There is a prophecy done by some albino astrologer. You need to remember this name, albino astrologer. Uh, she is haunted by it. Daughter of a rich advocate in Lucknow. Okay, she is a daughter of a rich advocate in Lucknow. Uh, her brother gone to America to carve out his own independent destiny. Mm, her brother is no more with him with her he has gone abroad to chalk out his chalk out his own plans uh, so evidently gets most of the affection and attention attention of her father so since her brother is not there or and her mother is dead so she gets most of the attention and affection of her father pampered by her father i should say feels the world to be a toy made especially for her she feels as if world is a toy for her and everyone would dance to her tune so such kind of expectations desires similar attention from gautama desires same kind of attention and affection from gautama as her father used to do to her in love with life and fears time here she loves life a lot she wants to live she wants to enjoy life she wants to 
keep going possessed by the visions of albino astrologer so there is a albino astrologer she met him while she was child and uh, it is very much evident that she is superstitious and she completely believes on everything what albino astrologer had professed if you are thinking what it's it is albino means there is a disease called albinism that is color loss of color loss of color so albino is the people who is having albinism is albino you have, you must have seen some people who are totally pigmentless there is no pigment or any ounce of color in their body those are albino so albino astrologer astrologer was the albino her father and her husband now we will move on to how was her father and how is her husband father is rich advocate in lucknow as we know he gives complete attention and ample pampering to maya he gives complete attention and ample pampering to maya was not that inclined towards his son means his son and his father ke beech ka jo relation tha was not that good husband's name is gautama maya's husband name is gautama as the name suggest maya is some kind of illusion and gautama is um, is the one gautama related to we have read in history gautama who believed in uh not attachment of not getting emotionally attached to the materialistic views and seeking the purpose of life as the name suggests he is someone who is detached from emotional aspect he is lawyer by profession much elder in age than maya maya se bahut bada busy in his vocational work he is too much engrossed he is too much busy in his vocational work loves maya but fails to express in a way which maya wants so uh, it is not that gautama gautama do not love maya but uh, he fails to express in a way that maya wants him to so he he is very much busy in his vocational work so uh, somewhere this point comes that maya suffers a kind of emotional distress when she do not when she does not get that kind of care and that kind of affection from gautama and gautama is okay with these all things because he is occupied or he is engrossed in his work yes. fear and its reasons an albino astrologer had predicted that he or her husband would die sorry it should be she she or her husband would die within the four years of her marriage maya die, maya loves her life way too much than her husband she did not want to die father's fixation adds salt to her wound uh, and she get as she gets dependent on such kind of affection so that is the fear from here the real story begins so this is the fear which maya continuously face or consistently faces Maya is very much afraid of Maya is very much fearful that she would die and she would die and she is totally gripped under that fear that she would die and she want to live and she would die and she would die and this fear continuously keeps on roaming within her mind and uh, disturbs her and disturbs her perturbs her appals her in a way which affects her daily or daily routine and she could not concentrate on one thing if she tries to concentrate on one thing she gets she relates that thing to she relates that thing to death and ultimately it gets very pessimistic and melancholy in all way round so this is the main fear which has which has gripped maya that she will die after the four years of her marriage and that fear that fear disables her ongoing life completely and uh, and father's fixation father's affection father's affection adds salt to her wounds had her father made her a bit practical pragmatic uh, towards the world maybe she would have copped up copped up with these all emotional distress but she had he had made her handicapped in a way as she gets dependent on such kind of affection maya's failure to understand gautama's failure to understand her emotions pushes her more into the darkness and when she gets married and gautama fails to understand ki what are the reasons or the processes going within her mind they never discuss ki what are the things which she is facing or which she fears and all maya wants is 
कंप्लीट अटेंशन एंड लव फ्रॉम गौतमा एंड आई मस्ट से दिस द कंप्लीट स्टोरी इज अबाउट द मैरिटल डिसहारमनी बिटवीन टू पीपल टू पार्टनर्स एंड माया इज वन वे सेंसिटिव वेरी मच इमोशनल वॉन्ट्स वॉन्ट्स सेंसुअल अटेंशन वॉन्ट सेक्शुअल प्लेजर्स बट बट गौतमा ऑन द अदर साइड इज टोटली डिटैच्ड no such emotional things and she is very he is very pragmatic and uh, maya turns neurotic due to the persistent obsession over astrologer's predictions and so she turns neurotic just because there is obsession that she would die she would die she would die she would die and that 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 leads to that leads her to turn neurotic her illusions so once she once this fear grips grips her mind there are too many illusions or too many symbols or too many images which have been used continuously persistently to sow the fear of maya many instances or illusions or imagery have been sown in the novel to depict her aloofness and fear and she had about the prediction so many illusions and instances had been discussed in the novel sometimes with related to the nature many times nature has been brought in to sow the death to so the sadness to so the moroseness other time there is a kathakali ballad dances sometimes there is a the fear of dancers the 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 way they dance with all the mask put in with all the makeup that is very much fearful peacock crying in the rainy season that is also related to her misery reference to the cat right before he possesses gautama yes she possesses gautama from the from the roof and just before that a cat passes besides them beside them and that is that is also can be termed as something symbol symbolical <coughs> how it ends so how it all ends so she ponders over the prediction she thinks ki what albino astrologer had predicted and she realizes that albino astrologer had predicted that it would either one of them and she realizes that no it was not that both would die she 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 says she thinks that she he had predicted that it was either of them either gautama would die or either maya would die and realizes that gautama doesn't love life or it should be life here gautama doesn't love life as much as she does means uh, gautama is not much into life she is busy he is busy with his own things so but she does gets the word murder in her subconscious mind but avoids it she gets that word murder in the mind ask gautama to come in the roof to have some fresh air and she says okay let's go and have some fresh air i want to roam around in the roof she says that to gautama and once they go she pushes him down frantically and gautama dies so this is how it ends so to sum up there is this thing maya is someone who is very emotional who is very sensitive who is who gets totally dependent on her father just because her mother died and uh, and uh, her brother ha- holds no such good relation with the father father gives complete attention to maya she makes him he makes him totally emotionally handicapped and he believe she believes that all world is his toy her toy and she everyone will play to her tune to make her happy and she gets married to gautama who is much elder than her age she is uh, gautama is lawyer very much prosperous lawyer busy very much busy um, engrossed in his vocational work but they both are fundamentally very different gautama is someone who is emotionally detached not much into romantic things not much into poetry or nature while maya was completely different maya was totally into poetry totally into nature totally into symbols totally into emotional emotions totally into romance totally into sensual pleasures while gautama was not and uh, there was a prediction by albino astrologer which continued to haunt haunt maya the prediction was that either of them either of them would die within the four years of their marriage and she was very much afraid of darkness and um, death she was sorry she was very much afraid of death and gautama's indifference towards her indifference towards her makes her more frantic and scared and afraid she feels like everything is coming to grab her she feels like everything is coming to eat her out and uh, ultimately she pushes gautama besides the roof and that's how it ends and uh, 
in between she tries many things to to cop up with her illusions she tries to go out with mr pom in mrs lal's party it, briefly she also gets a chance to go on shopping with gautama's mother and sister but that that was a relief for a short while but it fails in a long term relief to give a long term relief and ultimately it happens that she pushes gautama and gautama dies so this is it thank you good night